What's up, guys? Welcome back to a new episode of the Coach's Corner, where we answer your questions sent in to you, uh, sent in to you, sent in to us, sent in from you to us, for us to answer to you. <coughs> Great song. Does that make sense? <laughs> I feel that most people are pretty time limited these days with this busy lifestyle. Um, just a couple of things that I like to do if I am running low on time, just uh, making sure that maybe your time and your rest um, between sets, which is normally pretty good. Otherwise, you could just be sitting around on your phone and stuff like that, which would then prolong the workout, which is a common one. Yeah, I do it myself sometimes. Um, make it an effective warm up. You don't want to be setting 20 minutes, 30 minutes when a warm up. Just work out what you got to do, do it quickly, and just get straight into the workout. Um, even just making sure if your nutrition is good, just around the workout, maybe caffeine, anything like that. They're normally pretty good strategies you can use. Um, I even find music, like the music that you like and listening to, that will kind of cheer you up for the workout. I find that a good strategy as well. Um, I don't know. If Super sets are great as well, oh, just to make it yeah. more effective. Yeah. Um, especially like you were just saying there, people are very like limited with time. So being able to do that also helps increase a little bit more of the intensity. Yep. And have a plan of when you are going in, of what you actually are going to do. So yeah, you know, just walking in and winging it. So yeah. Yeah, we're prioritising our exercise selection as well. Mm. Making a lot of it mostly compounds as well. Um, like for example, a bicep curl or a bent over rope. Most likely you're going to get more out of the bent over rope because you've got more muscle groups being used and more joints as well. <laughs> Strictly speaking, no, I don't think you should eliminate anything completely because like that would firstly probably create a, a bad relationship with food if you're like looking at things like no, I can't have this kind of, it's not sustainable long term, so that's ideally no, but um, if you are going to probably restrict things, first thing probably be like really refined foods or like like uh, sugars, so foods that where the carbohydrate content is really high in sugars, so um, probably try restricting that first. Um, rather than eliminating completely. Um, that's more sustainable long term, I think. As well, if you're like, if your diet is consisting of mainly really highly pleasurable foods, so for example, you're eating cake, biscuits, lollies, and then you try to go from eating really high pleasurable foods to then cutting everything and going to fruit, like, fruit, I love fruit, but just vegetables, all that really bland foods, it's gonna actually make it a lot harder. So if instead of eliminating going from eating all this really highly pleasurable foods to eating bland chicken and rice and broccoli, you're going to really struggle in that transition. So I'd probably recommend eliminating maybe, just say for example, um, you're having a packet of chips, maybe get rid of that first and then slowly work your way yeah. down to the, where you want to be with your diet. If you just drastically cut, you're going to be craving mm. food so hard and then you're just going to be like constantly wanting that, oh my God, I want chocolate, I want that fix, you know what I mean? But it's, if you do it a bit more slowly. Like we've said, little steps, like if you can yeah. get, you know, little things out at a time, just get little, you know, better each week. Yeah. It's much more sustainable than cutting out sugar and carbs and everything. Yeah. Eliminating but, everything. Because yeah. that's not going to last. It's, and it's not sustainable either. Yeah. So. Oh, I always say as well, like, can you, whatever, however the way you're eating now, can you see yourself eating that way in a year's time? Yeah. You know, and you if, you're really long term. Yeah, if you're restricting yourself completely, like, the majority of the time you're not going to be able to do that in a year's time. Yeah, and have fun with it too. Yeah. You've got to have a fun lifestyle with it as well. Yeah, definitely. Provided where you are, I think. Context. context. Yeah. If you've got a lot of weight to lose, then I don't think you should be having too much fun. You've indulged like, for the most part, yeah. so you have to make some sacrifices. E to get exactly. We, 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 can, we can afford to have that chocolate because for the, for the most part, we've been doing it for like years, like 10, like 15, 20 years, like eating pretty well, you know what I mean? So we can, we can do that, but yeah. yeah. So if you're sick and obviously if you're tracking your food, um, I mean, you don't necessarily have to track, especially if you are sick, but do focus on the quality of the food. So making sure that you're eating good quality foods because it will affect your immune system. So you want to get better quicker. Um, so eat good food. I would stay away from refined sugars and refined food and eat lots of fruits and vegetables, garlic, herbs, spices. With your training, I would just depend on how you're feeling. So if you obviously can't get out of bed, then obviously don't train. Um, but if you're feeling okay, I would probably do a light workout, get the blood flow, get your lymphatic system working. Um, but just don't train at your max. Like know that you're not gonna be able to do your best effort by still doing something is better than not doing anything. You don't have to kill yourself. Oh, either one will really build muscle. What more um, the answer could be is total volume, adding more weight 
essentially over time, but um, if you press for time, supersets are really good. Um, say if you're bulking, probably straighter sets, like using the calorie surplus straighter sets, so that way your heart rate isn't as high. Um, but as for like, you know, cutting weight and whatnot, the supersets are fine for that type of thing because you, you're decreasing, um, you get rid of the, you know, you're getting rid of the fat as well, but um, to answer that question, probably more total volume with straight sets or super what's, sets. Really. What's volume for people that don't understand? Yeah, so it's sets is. times reps times weight, and that will be the volume for that exercise. And every session, just try and uh, get that up most times if you can. Um, but super sets are great for building muscle, but um, really, as long as the volume keeps getting added and you keep increasing weight and keep making progress, and really, that's all that matters. But super sets can be a really good tool as well. Yeah, yeah, I think supersets are great for, like we just said before, the last first question that um, if you're time restrictive, being able to incorporate uh, another exercise with that to superset that. Um, but, you know, you can still do straight sets. I think it's it depends on um, the way that you train, um, the time that you have available as well. Yes. It's hard to say that one would be better than the other. Um, it, but if you are doing supersets and you're doing the same muscle group in that superset, your overall volume may be sacrificed a little bit. Yes. So I'd probably recommend using opposing muscle groups. So mm -hmm. maybe you can do like squats with like, I don't know, chin-ups or something Or even like a, that. a bicep curl with a tricep extension. That's it. That's yeah, a classic one. Yeah, antagonist, antagonist, um, antagonist muscle group. Um, but yeah, I'd just be kept mindful of that as well. Like that's probably the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. Of course. Is that how you got big? Yeah, that's how I got big. <laughs> that's how I'm so big. Just in that arm though, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> doing my sub sets. My calves too. And my calves, I got <laughs> Alright, cool. Thanks very much for those guys that have sent in those questions. If you have a question for next week's episode, then make sure you shoot them through to our Instagram or our Facebook page. And we will address them for next week. But until then, have a good week. <laughs>